A living thing is able to grow. Generally, the life of a living thing starts from a fertilized egg. The fertilized egg grows into a young before becoming an adult. At the adult stage, organisms reproduce their young, which grow up to become adult, and the cycle repeats itself. This pattern of growing up and reproducing is known as life cycle. Some living things go through the same stages, while others go through slightly different stages. Life cycle is important as it ensures that a living thing does not become extinct. When a salmon is ready to reproduce, it moves into rivers and streams where there is fresh water. A female salmon will dig in the gravel of the stream and riverbeds to build its nest, known as red. Once the red is ready, the female salmon lays its eggs in it for a male salmon to fertilize. During the period of two to three months, the eyes and internal organs of the baby salmon can be seen developing through the translucent eggshell. After three to six weeks, an egg hatches into alevin. The alevin breaks free from the soft shell while retaining the yolk and stays under the gravel. At this stage, it is about two centimeters in length. It depends on the yolk sac that hangs from its underside for food. An alevin will remain in the nest until its yolk sac is completely absorbed. As the alevin matures into a fry, its yolk sac disappears. It is time for the fry to learn to swim and to fend for itself. It will leave its red and hides under stones or among the vegetation near the stream or river banks. At first, the salmon fry feeds on microscopic organisms. When it grows bigger, it will feed on aquatic insects and other larger organisms. The salmon fry can grow to the size of five to eight centimeters in length. It faces predators such as herons, water beetles, and other fishes. After several months, the salmon fry develops markings on its body. At this stage, it is known as par. The salmon par feeds mainly on aquatic insects. It lives among boulders and shallow waters with submerged weed beds. The salmon par will remain in this habitat for one to three years, depending on the availability of food. When the salmon par loses its markings and turns silvery, it is known as smolt. At this stage, it is about 15 centimeters, and its body undergoes certain changes, enabling it to survive in salt water. It moves towards the estuary to adapt itself to salt water environment. Once it gets used to the salt water environment, the salmon smolt swims out to the sea. The smolt moves into the sea and stays for one or more years. At sea, it feeds on crustaceans and small fish. It will grow to its adult size and develops unique body markings unique to its species. During its stay, the adult salmon has to protect itself from predators such as larger fish, killer whales, dolphins, sea lions, seals and fishermen. The salmon will return to its home when it is fat enough and ready to reproduce. In its homeland, it will stop feeding and is dependent on the stored fats in its body. Once a suitable place is found, the female salmon begins to prepare its red and the life cycle repeats again. The eggs of silk moths 
are very small and hard. They are light yellow when first laid and will darken to a blue gray when fertilized. In about 10 days, the larvae, or commonly known as silkworms, hatch from the eggs. They're only about 0.5 centimeters long. Once hatched, the larvae start to feed on the leaves of mulberry plant. During growth, the larvae molt four times. A full-grown larva is about 7 centimeters long and yellowish-gray in color. After eating continuously for about six weeks, the larvae will start to climb to the top of a branch and spin their cocoon. Silk is produced in the glands of a silkworm's head. It is actually forced out in liquid form through openings called spinnerets. When the liquid silk comes into contact with the air, it solidifies. A pupa's cocoon is made of a single continuous thread of raw silk from 300 to 900 meters long. After a final molt inside the cocoon, the larva develops into a brown structure known as a pupa. In order to obtain silk from the pupae, cocoons are thrown into boiling water. The heat kills the pupae and the cocoons are ready to be unraveled. About 1,000 cocoons are needed to make a silk shirt. Once the pupa develops into a moth, it secretes a fluid to dissolve the silk, which enables the pupa to emerge from the cocoon. A silkworm moth is yellowish-white, with a thick, hairy body and a wingspan of about 4 centimeters. The adult moths cannot fly and are blind. They only live for a period of 9 to 10 days. At this stage, the moths are capable of reproducing. They lay around 500 eggs in four to six days. The eggs of butterflies are very tiny. Their shapes differ with different species. Female butterflies usually lay their eggs on a particular part of a plant, such as the leaves or crevices of the bark. The plant will serve as food source for the larvae when they hatch from the eggs. The caterpillars chew their way out upon hatching. They have a very big appetite, which results in rapid growth. As their skin is non-expanding, caterpillars shed their skin as they grow. Once they are large enough, they will attach themselves to a stem or branch ready for the next stage. At this stage, the caterpillar is ready to go through a major transformation. This process is known as metamorphosis. After shedding its skin for the last time, the caterpillar becomes a chrysalis. Within a few weeks, the chrysalis does not move, eat or drink as its organs and other body parts dissolve and reform into body parts of an adult butterfly. When the process of change is completed, the skin splits and the butterfly emerges with folded wings. To expand its wings, the butterfly pumps fluid from its body into them. Once the wings are strong and dry, the butterfly can start feeding and preparing for the next generation. A female mosquito lays her eggs in water or on surfaces which are moist. At first, the eggs are white. Within 12 to 24 hours, they become black or dark brown. Depending on their species, the eggs are laid either singly or together, forming rafts.
The eggs hatch into larvae within 24 to 48 hours. At this stage, they are commonly known as wrigglers. A wriggler lives in water and feeds on microscopic materials. The larva has a breathing tube which enables it to get oxygen at the water surface. About seven to ten days, the larva changes to pupa. The pupa has a comma-shaped body. Just like the larva, it has to get oxygen from the water surface. At this stage, the pupa does not need to feed as its body changes into adult form. An adult mosquito lives for a period of four to eight weeks. It's capable of flying long distances. To obtain energy, both male and female mosquitoes feed on nectar. To develop eggs, a female mosquito needs to feed on blood. Once the feeding is enough, the female mosquito starts to look for a suitable place to lay her eggs. A female frog lays her eggs in a pond or lake. The eggs are surrounded by jelly. The eggs take about two weeks to hatch into tadpoles. Once the tadpoles have finished eating the remaining egg jelly, they start to feed on vegetable matter. A tadpole has a tail and gills on the outside of its body. The tail enables it to swim, while the gills allow the tadpole to breathe underwater. The tadpole grows its back legs, then front legs. Followed by losing its tail, its lungs begin to develop inside its body. This transformation allows the young frog to breathe air. After about 16 weeks, the young frog begins to leave the water. As it grows bigger, it spends more time on land. When it is ready to reproduce, it will return to the water.